So today I'm going to talk about a subject that is a little controversial on the internet if some of you don't already know. This person called Nicole Harbord made a video fat shaming people and I don't think that's okay and I don't condone it at all and I want to make something positive out of all the negativity that she has created and Nicole Harbord it makes me really sad that you have to rely on negativity and hate to become famous or popular or relevant today instead of using your talent to portray that to your community and your platform in order to grow as a real talent. So in all honesty, I think that fat shaming anyone is wrong and disgusting and there are a lot of people who might have watched that video and gotten really offended and there's people who are struggling different monsters every day, whether it's an eating disorder, whether it's a disease that prevents them from being at the weight that they wish they could be. There's people who struggle a lot more than we think and we don't know their background. We don't know their history. You're not their doctor. You cannot tell them what they have to do in order to be living their life a certain way and you can't judge them based on what you see on the outside because you don't know everything that's been in the past, what they're like on the inside. You can't just shame someone in order to become relevant today. It's not, it's just not okay. And it makes me really sad to have received so many emails from people not feeling good, not feeling themselves because someone decided to post a video on the internet talking about things that are not true, that are irrelevant and stupid and rude. It's just not okay. And I just could go on for days about this, but I'm gonna end it at this. We need to create something positive out of this. And I think that we need to remember that no matter what battle you're struggling or what people are saying out there, bullies, their opinion should just not matter. If you were offended by what Nicole Arbor said, a lot of people were, you're not alone, I'm here. You can come talk to me and I'll be here for you. I've gotten emails, Snapchats, DMs. You can talk to me. I can relate with you. Okay? And if you're going into a situation where you feel bullied, whether it's by Nicole Harbord or someone at school or someone in your work, whatever it is, just know that you can brush them off. Just brush them off and throw their opinion away just like you throw garbage away because that's all it's worth. It has no value. People who are who are shaming other people are only doing it because they have their own in internal struggles. They're only hurting people because they have nothing better else to do. They have no other way of becoming a bigger popular person. And that's sad. So you should feel bad for them, not for you. You're strong, you're beautiful, you're worth it. So. Don't let someone else's irrelevant and idiotic opinion define who you are. You know who you are and everyone around you knows who you are. So just end that on a positive note. And if you weren't directly affected by what Nicole Arbor said, but you feel that it's pretty much, how do I put this in a non mean way? It's pretty much fucked up. Then Share this video, share this topic, voice your opinion because other people need to know that you don't think like Nicole Harbour because there's people right now who have considered suicide, who have considered relying on an eating disorder, who hate themselves because they think the rest of the world thinks like Nicole Harbour and that's a lie. No, I don't think like Nicole Harbour. I love every single one of you. I think everyone has their own unique talent. Everyone is beautiful in their own way. As cheesy as that sounds, it's true. And we have to grow as a society and realize that we can't just go out there and shame people and do things that are negative like that. That's not okay. We have to grow as a society. We have to grow as a person and realize that what we say has consequences. And what we're saying, someone else is hearing, receiving, and understanding which means that we need to watch what we put on our social media. We need to watch what we say to others. And if it's not nice, save it to yourself. It's not comedy. It's not. It's really not comedy talking bad about someone. It's just a really thirsty trap to try to get popular and relevant. And it's not going to work. It needs to end now. It needs to end. So 
I love you all and if you're feeling down feel free to keep messaging me send me an email I'll drop that in the link below shoot me a snapchat or a DM whatever is easier for you and just know that I'm here for you and those of you who are watching this spread the positivity spread the positivity so that other people know that you're there for them too because you never know who's watching bye guys